Hello, my name is Jim Donahue. I'm an associate professor in chemistry at Tulane University. My areas of interest are in the areas of biological inorganic chemistry, small molecule transformations as they relate to renewable energy, and fundamental questions in structure and bonding. These are areas that all overlap each with the other and tend to reinforce and support each other. So in the following, I'd like to tell you briefly about each. Metals, it turns out, are everywhere in biology. They frequently occur at the active sites of enzymes, so-called metalloenzymes. And one such system that has piqued our interest is carbon monoxide dehydrogenase. It's uh, an enzyme that's very important in oxidizing carbon monoxide to carbon dioxide. So this particular enzyme features a molybdenum ion and a copper ion, and between the two, a sulfide ligand. And it's been proposed that carbon monoxide will come along and insert itself between copper and sulfur and form this thiocarbonate bridging intermediate. But this idea is controversial. Uh, others have calculated this intermediate to be too stable to be viable uh, to support enzymatic turnover. So in my group, uh, we are actively pursuing the synthesis of small molecules that incorporate this core composition. And these are plausibly makeable by coupling reactions of this sort shown here. And what we intend uh, by this uh, kind of project is to answer questions that are fundamental to this uh, possible uh, cycle. For example, if we can make such a molecule, does it show thermal stability? And does it at some temperature extrude carbon dioxide or carbonyl sulfide as the enzyme is proposed to do? Another project that is uh, ongoing in my group is hydrogen uh, evolution. It turns out that molybdenum sulfide is one of the most promising scalable catalysts for catalytic uh, hydrogen formation. And molybdenum sulfide has this sheet-like structure that is very analogous to graphite. But molybdenum sulfide is only modestly active as a catalyst, and what activity it has is associated with these reactive edge sites uh, shown here. We've been motivated to look at soluble molecular molybdenum sulfides, such as this MO3S13 dianion, which itself doesn't show uh, particularly great activity, but this derivative of it, this tristithylcarbamate cation, is actually uh, quite active for hydrogen formation. So what we show here in this plot is micromoles of hydrogen uh, formed as a function of time in the presence of a chromophore that absorbs light and in, in an excited state delivers electrons then to this catalyst. So what we are actively doing now is developing other uh, variants of this uh, kind of cluster and hoping that we can uh, develop structure activity relationships. So anyway, if these projects are of interest, uh, I hope that you will consider applying to Tulane University and to uh, joining my group. Mm -hmm.